While the arrival of interstate tourists has provided a welcome boost for this Darwin restaurant, owner Bayrab Yogi is anxious about what may lie ahead. I am quite worried as well because we, um, we can't afford another lockdown. So I think next couple of uh, months, I think it would be very interesting to see how, how everything goes. His concerns are not unwarranted. With COVID cases soaring interstate and restrictions reintroduced for hospitality venues in New South Wales, Darwin businesses are preparing for the worst. We love to have people here, but then there's the hesitancy of potential COVID coming and changing yeah, the rules or whatever would happen with the hospitality business. Since the NT's border reopened earlier this week, seven interstate travellers have tested positive to COVID-19. Five of those were recorded overnight, including people who travelled on flights from Sydney and Adelaide. All of these people were isolating at the time that their test results were confirmed. Um, there may be some close contacts from the flights uh, and that contact tracing work is being undertaken. Five local COVID cases were also recorded overnight, all of them from Tennant Creek and household contacts of existing cases. A Central Australian Health Service says two of today's cases were found in an Alice Springs town camp, but the NT government is yet to confirm that. Tennant Creek has now transitioned from a lockdown to a lockout until next Wednesday. You must not leave Tennant Creek to travel to a exclusion zone, a remote community. Uh, and if you are to leave Tennant Creek, as I just said, you need to be double vaccinated. Just days away from Christmas, there was some good news for people in the remote community of Ali Karung, with the lockdown there now lifted. We haven't found any further positive cases uh, and we're fairly confident that there's no community transmission in Ali Karung. A mask mandate in the Barclay area, including in Tennant Creek and Ali Karung, will be in place until next Wednesday, with one in Alice Springs due to end tomorrow. Husni Shams, ABC News.